Our planet is changing. All over the world, sea levels are rising, ice caps are melting, and freak weather events are taking place. Increased human activity on our planet is causing our climate to change. Our Earth is warmed by heat from the sun that passes through the Earth's atmosphere. Our atmosphere allows some heat to be trapped where it is absorbed by our Earth. The rest escapes back into space. This process is called the greenhouse effect. However, the burning of fossil fuels like coal and petroleum create extra greenhouse gases that have changed our atmosphere. The protective layer around our Earth has been thickened, meaning that more heat is being trapped inside Earth's atmosphere. This is what causes climate change. In order to reduce the negative effects of this process, we drastically need to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions. We all, we're most of us aware of the climate change issue that the burning of fossil fuels leads to the production of greenhouse gases. I think it makes general environmental sense to try and use agricultural products as a way of producing uh, fuels rather than mining, mining for fuel. Scientists are attempting to find a substitute to fossil fuels. Many are researching a cleaner alternative, biofuel, which is energy produced from living organisms. One of the most promising biofuel crops is Pongamia, which we call the plant of the future. Pongamia trees, like this one here, produce hundreds of pods each year. When these pods ripen, they look like this. And inside these pods are the seeds. And it's these seeds here that we use to make biodiesel. The tree is generally considered to be a fast growing and saline and drought tolerant species and is able to grow in a range of suboptimal conditions, including waterlogged and alkaline soils. Some of these trees will produce in the order of 10 to 20,000 seeds. And those seeds are uh, quite interesting to us because they are rich in oil, in the order of 40 to 50 percent oil. And that oil is of a composition which is um, suitable for, for biodiesel production and also potentially for aviation fuel. One of the main reasons that Pongamia is such a great food stock for biofuel is because it is a tree legume. Pongamia is a, is a tree legume, so like soybean or peanut or clover, it produces nodules on its roots, which enables it to um, assimilate nitrogen from the atmosphere and turn it into a form that the plant can use, which is uh, contrary to non-legumes which require nitrogen fertiliser. Nitrogen fertilisers themselves are, a, are in essence a byproduct of fossil fuels and so um, you can either reduce that input or eliminate it altogether. As nitrogen fertiliser breaks down in the soil, it releases nitrous oxide. And nitrous oxide is a greenhouse gas. You've probably heard of CO2 being referred to as a greenhouse gas. Well, nitrous oxide is another type of greenhouse gas. The problem is that it's an even worse gas than CO2 is for the atmosphere. It's 292 times more active as a greenhouse gas than CO2 is. So that's a real problem associated with nitrogen fertiliser. So why should we invest in Pongamia? The reasons are clear. Pongamia does not use harmful nitrogen fertilizers. It doesn't compete with food stocks. It can be used to regenerate marginal land and helps to combat deforestation through the planting of more trees. Climate change is at the forefront of global issues. It is clear that we drastically need an alternative to fossil fuels and with more research and accessibility, Pongamia could be the game changer. Pongamia, plan to the future.